Hey guys, this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. It turned out to be Shopping Thursday anyway. <laughs> I just couldn't stay away from Target. I'm sorry. They had the best, like, pet food bargains this week. Incredible. Let's begin over here, then. You could see at the beginning of the week that, um, if you watch all the time, that I got the Iams uh, dry cat food. They absolutely love this cat food. And it was like, I think it was $10.99 a bag or $10.39 a bag, something like that. If you buy, that's pretty good. But if you buy two bags, you get a $5 gift card. So, you do the math. Same thing uh, with this. The Fancy Feast. Uh, 24 cans. Now, we've, all, we've agreed in the past <laughs> that 50 cents per can was a good price. So... By all means, that should be like $12 per box. It was $10.99, which is a fantastic price on its own, per box. But then when you buy two boxes, you get a $5 gift card. So, that was amazing. And when I paid for my stuff, I used my $15 worth in gift cards from last, you know, the beginning of the week. This looks really cool. I like to give the dogs a little snack in the afternoon when we're having lunch. And, you know, I just, it's further guard against uh, Verdell going into an insulin shock because I just want to make sure he's got enough food in his system that um, the insulin's not going to overpower the amount of calories that he's eaten just in case he didn't eat all his food in the morning. So that looks like a really cool snack. I think they had three or four different varieties, but I like these because it had a crunchy outside with a soft inside, and I think the dogs will really enjoy that napkins because I want to have a proper meal like at Granny's house on Sunday there were four napkins in here for $3.65 regular price over $12 so these are some pretty happy looking napkins alright so the next things for me <laughs> but I thought totally thought of my husband when buying this it's uh, I bought these books because I use these when I do my recaps of the shows I keep all of the um, notes from the season in here but these are Sasquatch this one with the brown cover you can't really make oh maybe you can from the camera it's got little trees on it these were $1.48 and it's pretty good and Sasquatch sighting and the other one Chris take that one off the top the other one says leave nothing but tracks <laughs> my husband's gonna get the biggest kick out of these and be happy that they were only $1.48 so yeah uh, next items are these OXO Softworks. Um, I love canisters. Maddie uh, also loves canisters, and now that she's got her own kitchen, she needs to start stocking up on stuff like this. These were marked down half price, two ninety eight for the bigger ones. Uh, I think the, yeah, dollar ninety eight for the smaller ones. Those are great for coffee, or if she's got some cherry tomatoes, or leftover couscous, stuff like that. She won't have to worry about, you know, keeping it safe. Or she could bring that with her if she wants to go eat it somewhere, like in her uh, main building at school from her apartment. Save a little money. Right, Chris? That's what it's all about. Saving some cash. All right. Uh, Michael Graves, I love you. In case you guys didn't realize this, Michael Graves is a famous architect. And usually what happens with architects is they're control freaks. <laughs> That's why I studied architecture. Just kidding. <laughs> um, architects are so godlike in their own minds that when they design a building, they can't stop there. They need to control everything <laughs> that goes into that building. That's why Frank Lloyd Wright designed his own furniture. Uh, Michael Graves designs... Um, sheets, uh, dishes, kitchen stuff, pretty much everything. I mean, I've even seen a Michael Graves designed bathroom plunger, so he's that control freakish. So I really like his designs. Um, I guess that's why he's been around for so long, but this is his traditional colors. He always designs with like the purple or the blue with the gray. This happens to be one of those pop-out colanders, but the thing that I really like about this is, Chris, pull the edge off the edge, the handle. It has a handle that pulls out. 
How many people does it take to pull out the handle? This extends all the way so that you can put this o over the sink and let uh, whatever you're washing dry in there. So like if you're washing some lettuce or cucumbers or tomatoes or fruits. So I, I thought that was really cool. And that was 13. It was 12 and change. Now here is some interesting sauces that uh, I'm trying to lose weight as everyone knows. So these are some low calorie um, alternatives to salad dressing that I got. Well this one not so much. This is more of like a cooking sauce. Cilantro cooking base. It's very low in calories but it gives a lot of flavor. I love the flavor of cilantro. Some salsa verde because I really love salsa verde. It, ha it just tastes way different than regular salsa. 10 calories for two tablespoons. That would be great on some salad with beans or something like that. Then this, um, I've never tried this before, dill pickle dip. It kind of looks like tartar sauce. Uh, it's only 40 calories for two tablespoons. That's a good alternative to a creamy salad dressing, which could be like 150 and below on, you know, for two tablespoons. So I'll give it a try, see what happens. They say it's really good with kettle chips, but I wonder how it will taste with carrots. Probably pretty good. <laughs> so we'll find out. Hi Kristen, it's lunchtime. I see you're enjoying your chicken salad that we made from the chicken in the can. Well, I just decided for fun, where here they are, to make dim sum. I think those are called, what is it? I don't, I don't know what it's called when it's um, just, uh, oh, fried wontons, okay. So I decided to make some fried wontons with the leftover Hello, let me just get this out of the pan so it doesn't burn. I decided to make the fried wontons with the leftover um, pork ball meat that I had, and I put that in quotes, meat, because it's not, it's TVP and, uh, you know, gluten. So we're going to take a look at this. I've already tried one, and I must say, they are heaven on earth. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I fried them up in a few tablespoons of the, let me show you, coconut oil. And we're loving the coconut oil for just about everything. I put some in my hair the other day, um, on our hands, elbows, take off makeup, everywhere. It's fantastic. And the thing that is so fantastic about it is it's cheap, it's natural, it's good for you. You can even eat it. I haven't eaten it yet, but I'm thinking about it <laughs> because it's supposed to like balance your blood sugar and everything. Well, I guess I'm eating it now because I fried the uh, wontons in that and here's the one that I've been eating and mm, it's so amazing because it doesn't really taste greasy and the oil didn't smoke at all when I fried it and it has a very light taste like you know sometimes when you fry something you can taste that heavy oil on it you don't taste that with this so coconut oil hi TT I feel great <laughs> I just got off the treadmill and I got my personal best on here one whole mile. Now that might not sound like a lot to uh, certain people or some people. Not that I had anyone in mind, but <laughs> I had to change my clothes. I was sweating like a pig. Can you believe it? Which brings me to say, <laughs> happy belated birthday, Dollywood. I don't know how I segued into that, but I suck. I didn't read my email. Your birthday was the 22nd. By the time you're watching this, it's probably going to be the 24th. Happy belated birthday, um, aka Chris. Um, I think the first time I wished you happy birthday, you were turning 19. So there's some history there. Right, honey? Yes. Tell Dollywood happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sean, tell Dollywood happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Kristen's not home, or I'd make her do it too. But, <laughs> oh, Homer will say it. Hey, Dollywood, happy belated birthday. He's a cutie, huh? Aww. The vet just sent me a uh, email about, um, what was that? AeroCat. It's a um, asthma treatment for cats. It's like one of those bronchiodilators, but it's got like this big tube on the front so that they can put their big head in it. <laughs> I hope it 
works because my little Homer is so precious. I would hate to think that he's suffering with asthma, so um, we got to help him out. Yeah. So, personal best, one mile, 6% incline. In conclusion, happy belated birthday, Dollywood. The best fiancé I know. Has anyone seen my fiancé? <laughs> I used to be a fiancé too, so I know about these things. Alright kids, there we go. Can you see it? Maybe up here is better. 8.44, I landed dinner before 9 p.m. <laughs> some potato wedges, some spinach and garlic and whole string bean saute, some fake chicken patties and some fixins. Yeah, that's how vegetarians do dinner before 9. <laughs> After 9? I don't know. Might be something completely different. So, again, happy birthday, Dollywood. Sorry I didn't read my email. Till next time, much love.